I feel like I'm doing something... <sighs> I'm way too excited for 8.59 a.m. is when I am filming this video. This is from the Inferno Candy Company, and I believe this is Spicy Pixie Sticks. I believe when it really comes down to it, that's what we're doing today. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this product, but I am extremely excited about it. Uh, where I live in Cincinnati, when I was in high school, Pixie Sticks, for some reason, were like so wildly popular. Did that, is that, was that a thing for anyone else? It was for me when I was in high school. Anyways, I have no idea how hot these are. I've been avoiding looking at their website to check it out because I wanted to like live react. We have four flavors. Gruesome Grape, Magma Orange, these names are awesome, Flaming Cherry, and Blistering Berry. I hope the blue one is the hottest. I hope each one, I hope it goes from like more mild all the way up to like super crazy. I have no idea. Um, Okay, I brought up their website, but I have not looked at this product yet. All right, so Inferno Pixie Dust. They're brand new, selecting the flavor. Okay, so you have four flavors. All right, Inferno Pixie Dust is our version of Pixie Sticks. Uh, we shelled the straw for a large tube and even included a spoon. If you're looking for a sensory overload, this might be your product. Super sour, super fruity, and super hot. Courtesy of the Primo Tali pepper. Oh my God. Primatales are so hot. It's uh, the primo, the primatale is probably the hottest pepper I've ever eaten. Hard stop. Uh, okay, so, okay, so, okay, do we have multiple heat scales going on here? The artwork is incredible. All right, so they're saying that this is extra hot. One to two million Scoville, moderately hot, on, um, on their heat scale. So this is, uh, this is not the I dare you level. This is one step under the I dare you level. So, um, I'm going to hopefully taste my way through all of them. So let's see. Uh, let's go to which one I, the, the flavor I prefer the least would probably be, I'm going to go grape. And then I'm going to go orange, then cherry, then blue. This is on my personal preference and flavors. All right, so gruesome grape. Ingredients of these, they're all going to be the same other than like the flavoring, I'm assuming. So glucose, malic acid, citric acid, gelatin, primo tali pepper, freeze-dried fruit and food colorings. These look amazing. How easy is the spoon to get out? Pretty easy. Okay, let me in. I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm doing something nefarious here. I don't know how much of this I should be eating. I feel, I feel like that's a lot. This little like freaking. It looks it looks like I'm doing something very nefarious right now. I have no idea if this is too much or too little. Let's find out. Cheers. It's so hot. And good. Wow. What a sensory overload. This is amazing. I'm currently getting like the same sensation I'm getting from tincture, but in pixie st sticks form, if you're a tincture person, I think you're gonna like this. It's hot. See the problem, okay, now what, what do I do with the spoon now? I'm like that's a problem, you gotta have a dedicated spoon kind of. Moving down the line. That tastes good too. It tastes like grape. It tastes good. It doesn't taste like artificial grape. It's got freeze dry, it's got the freeze dried grapes in there. I think it works well. Uh, I will say that, so like, I think this is something you just kind of got to like break in. Like as you're going down, so like, let's see if I can show you. The top of it has like little kernels, but then as you get into it, 
it becomes more powdered. Um, I'm getting a similar reaction that I am to like a tincture. I'm doing another little little baby rock of this. Uh, orange flavored. I'll let you guys know which one I prefer the most. That's awesome. It's so hot. <coughs> stuff over. What did I say? Alright, I said cherry next. <coughs> I hope the blue is the best. Ooh. <coughs> so much coughing. I can't get the spoon out. Okay. Oh, I got a big Oh, let's pour it on the table. Any more. I'm crying on the sides of my mouth. Mmm. That tastes exactly like a pixie stick. I haven't had a pixie stick in 20 years. And that tastes <coughs> exactly how I remember a pixie stick, stick tasting. Powder goes straight to the back of your throat. It's a very coffee cough, C O U. I can't stop. In situation. <sighs> All right, last one. Does he have an easy tear? <clears throat> I can't. <clears throat> I can't tell. Open! So much coughing. It's more green than blue. You can see, like, that's my spoon's blue. The powder is green. I think I'm gonna like, I hope I'm gonna like this the best. I can see bits of Primo Tali peppers floating in it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. This one's sweeter. I get the sugar. There's like some more sugar going on in here. <sighs> I think the blue one was the most mild for some reason. Maybe I'm just like completely blown out on my palate, which I think is what's going on there. <sighs> These are amazing. I can't believe this hasn't been done before. Uh, spicy pixie sticks, basically, in tube form with a little spoon. If you're a fan of tincture, you're gonna be a fan of this. This operates very similar, similarly, similarly, similar, at, I can't even speak this morning um, to how tincture works. <sighs> Using a Primo in this, a uh, Primo Tali, is a genius move. Cause you're getting like the maximum bang for your buck with heat. This is an amazing product. This is like one of my favorite things that the Inferno Candy Company's ever came out with. I love this so much. Cherry's my favorite. I hit a four. Love you guys. See you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna be eating a lot of peppers. It's gonna, oh man, it's gonna be great. Bye.